Today was the first day that Detroit Lions fans could be in attendance in Allen Park training camp. And yes, the Bluebeard is back. I myself will be there on Monday, the 29th. So if you're there, look for the Bluebeard, man. Uh, the Detroit Lions decided to make some roster moves today. Coming from Lions Twitter account says Lions announced following transactions. Place kicker Michael Badgley on injured reserve. They had a nice little send off to him. Place offensive lineman Christian Mahogany on the active NFI list. Wave offensive lineman Mac Forniok with an injury settlement and sign linebacker Malik Jefferson. Now, as far as Michael Badgley, we know yesterday he is done for the season. So prayers up to him. Hopefully he gets well soon. Kristen, I have no idea what's going on with him, but he's officially been placed on that list. Now we know that he was, he wasn't before he had missed some, some time. And, and now he's officially on the list. The injuries settlement for, for Matt is kind of interesting because don't forget if you are waived with an injury settlement, you have to wait three weeks. I forgot it. You have to, you have to wait three weeks after the length of time you would be out. So like, let's say you got hurt and it would take you six weeks to recover. If you wanted to come back to the Detroit Lions, it would take him an additional three weeks for a total of nine weeks before he could return to the Lions. If he were to go to another team, he could come back after that injury time had passed, that original six-week time had passed. And I guess the most, the one kind of out of nowhere is sign linebacker Malik Jefferson. Now, what I find interesting about Malik is a lot of times when we sign these dudes during training camp, they are undrafted, but he was drafted out of Texas in 2018 in the third round pick number 78 um in 2023 he spent time with the Dallas Cowboys I believe it was had two solo tackles in how many games did he play in 2023 let's see he played three but in those three games he had three tackles and two of them were solo so I'm not sure uh what kind of move this is I would assume that it is a depth piece but linebacker is something that I didn't think we needed I didn't think we need it because you know we are kind of deep at linebacker in my opinion we have Jalen Reeves Maben you know what I'm saying we've got our starters but I don't know I don't know if this guy really is going to make the roster but he did spend he spent the first four years of his career wow he played three games. I just realized this. Check this out. So, yeah, this dude, I would be, I mean, practice squad. And when we say practice squad, we're being generous. So he did not play. He has not played outside of those three games in Dallas for the past three seasons or two seasons. He didn't play 2021 or 2022. He might have been on an NFL team. It just did not see any in-game snaps. So that's probably what that is. So, I mean, again, we just say the practice squad, but that is being generous in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts, man, on the new linebacker that we have. Do you think he's a practice squad body? I say so. I say so. Wanted to kind of show some love real quick. Just came from Fanatic U. Had a good time. A little disappointed, man, because we didn't have enough time to plan. I think they told me about this two days before. So when I do something, man, I want people to come out, people to know it in enough time. So but hey, shout out to the guys that did come out. I appreciate you. Um, had a gentleman come out with his wife, wind up giving me four tickets to the August 1st practice. So that's a practice. He said he couldn't go. So here you go. It's like, man, my man, I appreciate that. Shout out to Andrew as well. Uh, Dylan came out. The gentleman that didn't know about Fanatic U until this morning. I saved him 20%. Had a nice little bag and bundle walking out. Uh, Brian came out, man. Guys that I really appreciate stopping by. And I got to tell you guys this. Had a gentleman come out. Name is Nate. You've seen him on the channel before. Him and his wife came out. Beautiful family. Came out. And they gave me something. He he interviewed, so you can go check him out. Uh, he was there for Kansas City. He's one of the reasons I was able to make it to Kansas City. Those tickets were so expensive. He winds up getting a ticket that was off to the side, but he wanted to, you know, sit in the middle. So he, uh, I caught both the tickets, man, and wind up making it in Garden City. If you don't know, man, I'm Garden City in Kansas City. Those tickets were super expensive. So uh, pay for those tickets. Um, and was able to get to to Kansas City, but he did something today completely unexpected, and this is why truly I have what I feel to be the best fan base on, in Detroit Lions on the net. All right, a lot of people can do giveaways, a lot of people can you know 
talk all this stuff, but I truly have the best fan community. And I think that's because you guys can see the passion. And I really do try to give back because at the end of the day, I am a fan. But I want y'all to see something. Check this out, man. You see this? This is mine. And this is a donation from Nate and his family. All right. These, the, he just surprised me out of nowhere with this limited edition bobblehead that will be given away to a subscriber. He heard me talking about a giveaway and I guess he just went on and made it happen, which is crazy. Now, keep in mind, this is one of 96. There were only 96 of these made because Hutch wears 97. I guess they stopped at 96. Only 96 of these were made. On the bottom of, there's a number. My Hutchinson right here is number 18. And I don't know what this one is, but trust me, it is in the box. And this will be given away. Nate will tell since he bought it and donated it. I figured, hey, why not have him decide when I give it away? So when we hear from him, I'll let you know how that's going to happen. Speaking of giveaways, we hit 21K, all thanks to you. And we will be having having a giveaway every 1,000 subscribers. It'll be a smaller number, uh, smaller prize at 1,000. And I think what I'm going to do, like I'm really going to try, my goal is to give back. This is the whole point of syndicate is a fan driven brand. This is not about me being uh, in a suite. It's not about me being at Ford Field. It's not about me doing anything outside of interacting with y'all and making, you know, doing the best that I can for y'all. And meaning if I can do stuff like give, get you 20 percent, that's what I'm trying to do. Right. 20 percent off. So. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. But, you know, this stuff is fronted by me, all my money. Um, and, and this was a wonderful thing. So somebody asked me during the during the stream today, do I take donations or something for um, giveaways? And I thought about it. I was like, if you wanted to donate something like a lion, a piece of Lions merchandise or something or, or something like that, I'll be more than happy to do that. I'm actually going to open up a USP a UPS box very soon, probably in August or September. I've been talking about doing that for a while. So that'll be something you guys can send stuff in there. I could do it for a giveaway. Uh, people have sent me books and, and everything, man. So I truly do have the best community on the internet and I am a nothing without you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk, not even a, 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 a pretend, nothing. I might be the one doing all the talking, but I'm nothing without, I don't have influence if there's nobody watching right so i appreciate you guys so much i will definitely keep you abreast of what's going on here and what we'll probably do is have smaller giveaways like more items so i'm thinking okay maybe maybe three items per it'll be like a gold a silver and a bronze and the you know they'll increase in value just a little bit and then for big milestones you i'll call them youtube milestones i uh, will have a bigger giveaway by the way i still have the villain lion Went unclaimed, as you know, and that will be given away sometime. As soon as I hear about when he wants me to give this away, then I'll do the uh, I'll figure out when we're going to do the villain lion. So, again, man, I appreciate everybody who came out to Fanatic U and thank you for watching because you guys are the reason that this this channel really does ex exist. That's why I say this channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. I hope everybody that came out, the Fanatics, made it home safe and they enjoy the rest of their Saturday, man. Training camp, day four observations coming up next. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. I truly have the best fan base in Detroit Lions sports.